here is any kind of precipitant that sparked the boy's interest in Ted. But I think if we can uncover what appeals to him, we can be of some assistance. Uh, I'm, I'm fascinated either to way. I'm sure Matthew I'm is there and a willing participant. Now, with that in mind, I'd like to go with you. Um, I think we can accomplish more in a short order if we separate the two. I want to talk to the boy, do a risk assessment, see if I can determine uh, what deficit is making that him call, vulnerable. So I asked him to my office. It's a nice office. <laughs> I'm glad I went. Uh, nobody should have to go into that neighborhood alone. That's probably something we should think about in the future. Mm -hmm. Good sure. Uh, he, the, the son, was uneasy at first. So was I, if I'm going to be honest. Um, for a 17-year-old, he has an imposing demeanor. Uh, once we separated them, I hinted that we were there to help his dad, and that allowed him to drop his guard. The concern the father has for the son is matched by the concern that the son has for the father. I agree, and that is important for us all to note as we move forward. Please continue. Well, we talked about his interests. Um, he wasn't forthcoming about his terrorist ties, um, but I didn't push. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about family, school, and I, I was getting a feel for the boy. Um, but it wasn't long before Lily came back with Carl. Well, John's family decided to provide care and has agreed to look in on Matthew from time to time after Carl is back home. Um, they wonder where things had gotten so bad. So hopefully bringing them together, we've shored up some long overdue family uh, support. You said the first time. Was there a second? Well, I got a call from Peggy not long after she met with them and explained her assessment. Uh, we thought Matthew might not object to another meeting. Matthew opened up readily about Ted and his involvement, but at this point in time, I did not see any behavior that indicated risk of violence. Now, with that being said, Either I missed it, he hit it, or I'm dead wrong. However, we have more to discuss, and Matthew has agreed to continue with our session. Excellent. I don't think I need to explain to you, but Franklin's discoveries has me eager to speak with Matthew again. We have yet to discuss his father's arrests, and I'd like to delve deeper into the bullying possibility, maybe even see if there's a relationship between his interest in Ted and the baseball program. Oh, yeah. Vamos a comer, ¿quiere algo? Oye, ¿no quieres algo de comer? No, gracias. ¿Seguro? Yo te tengo. ¡Eh! Hey, ¡Vamos! Estoy bien. Two days later, two gentlemen were arrested for robbing a pizza restaurant, and it occurred a relatively short distance away from Mr. Lecce's murder scene. We discovered that the two men were Leo Jones and Johnny D'Souza. This seemed to be like a, a pretty strong lead for us. They said, we don't do homicides, we do robberies. But detectives know professional robbers can also be pretty slick liars. We did some background investigation and confirmed that both of them had alibis, credible alibis. Kimball. Hey, what's up, Revere? What's up? What's up with you putting my head onto a half-naked model and trying to pass it around the unit? I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit, Kimball. I sent my picture to you, you tweaked it, and you passed it around. You sent it to Young. You sent it to Davison. Now you need to take it down. Okay, okay. The Army calls this sexual harassment. I should report you. You try to humiliate me. So much for trust. If I see this picture up here anywhere after this, I will file a complaint. Look, I'm sorry. I would... The license on the mobile device can also be done in person at the DMV. The user creates a PIN code and requests a temporary transfer token. 
This token is then shown to the DMV agent who links it to the license holder in the back end.